I am on my way uh, just to get out of the house. I had to get out of the house today. Today was not a good day. I was already crying earlier, and I'm not doing that. I'm getting out of the house. Remember I told you, whenever that starts, leave. So, had a great day yesterday. My sister was there with me and Mama, and we did a lot of packing up his watches and stuff like that. So, I have, I'm thinking I've got a Verizon, though, and um, let me see if I can, oh, there's some glasses in there. Anyway, this guy's won't do it. It's a UPS driver. I don't like uh, holding this phone, talking into it, so. Let him go. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is going to tell me I don't have any storage when I absolutely have a lot of storage left. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to go to Verizon. I'm going to make a payment. I'm going to get them to transfer all of Jeremy's pictures and all of my files, everything, over to an SD card. Or something, because I evidently am too stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not up. I'm not hip. I'm not young, y'all. I can't do this crap. Got too much on my mind. And there's. What am I going to give them permission for? Every single thing, my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Have access to everything. You can change stuff. You can send emails and stuff. I don't like doing that. I'm sorry. I don't like giving people permission to do everything they want to do with my phone. I don't have nothing to hide, but I do. I mean, I have my deed, all kinds of stuff on my phone. They don't need to see all that crap on my files. Just like Facebook, I got off of it. I'm not going to have them nosing. I mean, it's bad enough they're seeing and hearing everything we do anyway from our TVs and phones. Anyhow, <clears throat> I go on ramps. Y'all know that. I said ramps. Ramps. But um, I'm going to go do that. i got to go to the dollar store because I have to get my dog's pills. And I have to have cheap hot dogs to put them in. And they won't take them. And they take them, but I'd have to stuff them down their throat. So <laughs> I don't want to do that. Just hide them in hot dogs. And well, I thought I'd go buy a few more shed places. Talk to somebody about a pole barn because I've got a great idea. Oh, by the way, um, Daddy owns some land. It's outside of Pensacola. And... He lives on the front and the whole two and a half acres and his back is unused. He's like, yeah, I could definitely move a shed out there and convert it or whatever I want to do. He doesn't care. So I'll make his little payment for him. It's only like 200 a month. So isn't that awesome? Uh, if I sell my house, y'all, I could pay cash for the uh, shed. And then I've got a great idea in the future to put a pole barn over the shed, you know, because I don't believe they're made that great. <laughs> I know a pole barn will be, but um, I just in case, I don't want the siding and all that getting so wore out and warped and water uh, swelled up from water damage and stuff. I just want it covered and then I'll be good. And then I'll have storage in there. We'll go into that later, but I got to stop reporting now and find a Verizon. So anyway, I don't know why it's telling, it's letting me letting me. It's crazy. Anyway, I need to get a phone thing so I can hold my, I don't have to hold my phone because I don't like doing that. But anyhow, <clears throat> that's where I used to work at Navy Federal. It's huge. This is just one building. There's like seven or eight they've already built. Man, I hate this truck. You have to, it cuts off environmental protection crap. I don't know. No, I don't like it at all and when I first got it they didn't tell me about that and I thought what the heck my car keeps dying it scared the crap out of me I thought I bought a dud I'm not kidding anyway here's I-10 up here I guess I'm going to get on I-10 and then go down to uh, Florida's finest barns and look at them for a minute because I, I had a guy I had gone to the place in Milton last time and Anyway, he texted me the prices and stuff, and it was just like $5,000 too much. So, I asked him about a red barn, you know, a pole barn type thing, and he never got back with me. So, I'm going to go over here and see if somebody can help me today. Who knows? I've got several pieces attached to this video, as y'all see, because I'm going to play that first. But, uh, a lot has changed. Right now, <laughs> my whole life, of course, but <clears throat> right now I'm going to Walmart I'm gonna go meet my brother-in-law and my sister my older sister that you met the first time she and he is he and her are gonna meet me they found something it's an RV and on my daddy's land here here's the deal 
I can live in it as long as I need to, as long as I need to, and not have to pull any kind of permits or anything. And this is nice. He said it's got three slide outs, that sort of stuff. So, uh, I can live in that while I have to decide, you know, and then I can sell my house and go from there. I might like it. You never know. And, and I won't be forced to build a tiny house or do all this or that right off the bat. Because, I mean, every time I think of one thing, there's an obstacle. You know, it's like taking one step back or forward and two steps back. You know, I'm really not getting anywhere hardly. But, uh, it hasn't even been three months since Jeremy died. So, I'm like, I'm still screwed up. <laughs> I'll probably be screwed up the rest of my life, but, uh... As far as making decisions, I don't have a clue, but I'm here. I need to turn and get off of this, but I'll, I'll film it here in just a minute. Love y'all. Hold on. This is Mobile Bay, part of it. We are going to see a... Not a fifth wheel. What's it called? Just a bumper camper. pull? Camper. Camper. On, camper. The... on Dolphin Island. <laughs> but there's Mobile Bay. I just wanted to show y'all that. And then when we get up here, I've got, uh, I can show you the, uh, SS Alabama. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a big, uh, warship. Battleship. Battleship, yeah. My granddaddy helped build that ship. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what's going on, but we are at a dead stop. <laughs> and we just got through one. So something is going on. Okay. Like, if I jump hard enough, I can reach it. Where is he? Right over there. There he, he is, okay. There he goes. He's got to jump on the... He'll jump. Hold on. There he goes. Let's jump some more. There we go. Oh! Oh, he almost made it that time. What is he trying to do? He's probably got a headache. He keeps hitting the, the bottom of the bridge. <laughs> He's crazy bird. Sure. <laughs> so beautiful. This is ridiculous. Oh my lord. It's Tell about me about an hour it. To get across there. Yeah. Yeah, we, we are still on this bridge. And how long has it been? An hour. <laughs> an hour? Right I mean, like, Good grief. You know, from the time we left having lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went to the shrimp basket. Y'all. And then we've been on this freaking mobile bridge for an hour at least. We're trying to get pelicans. There's a whole bunch of pelicans on that island. I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh. <laughs> Tell us what happened again. I don't know if this is what really happened, but. <laughs> We just we are passed moving. a stalled 18-wheeler off the road on the, the median, and now it's opened up and everybody's trucking along. Yeah. Are you an idiot if you can't go past a stalled <laughs> vehicle without stopping? I mean, we've been on this we yeah. an hour, at least an hour. Yeah. So, where is that boat? I don't even see it. Is it not there now? Yeah, the top. Oh, of I see it. Okay, there it is. Let me see. When I get up closer, I'll, I'll get a better. It's the. Uh, my brother-in-law said it sunk, and then they brought it out here. They rescued it, or what do you call it? Rescued it. They, they rescued Raised the it. boat. Salvaged it. Salvage. Thank you. They salvaged it. And uh, anyway, let me get a better shot of it here shortly. This mobile. You can't tell. Oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be terrible footage. It's very bumpy. Oh. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. Sort of a good shot. Whoa. That is bumpy anyway. <laughs> that's cool. I've never gotten a close up shot of it that way, so. That's good. And we're heading towards the bridge. Oh, I lost it. There's an the airplane. Got an airplane there and they got a submarine, the USS Drum. Oh, there's the submarine. Oh, come on. That'll 
oh shit, not a submarine. Now they have a submarine over here? Yeah. Can I see it? Not from here. Oh. It's right next to the battleship. Yeah. Oh, the USS Drill. Huh. That's cool. I worked on submarines and never I was in the shipyard. Lots of cranes. Were you in the military? I worked in the shipyard. Huh. Yeah. All this stuff. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Hostel's huge. It is huge. That's a big yeah, big shipyard uh, of Mobile. Yep. It's good paying singles, Good paying jobs. If you need a job. <laughs> uh, huge. There's the rest of it over there. <laughs> I worked at the Eagles shipyard back whenever I was working at the Eagles hired shipyard. Employed twenty four thousand people. Twenty four thousand? Twenty four thousand. Yeah. And then this is the, the uh, tunnel, Mobile Tunnel. Does this go underwater? Yeah. Well, where is the water? How come when you're out here on in downtown Mobile, you don't see any water? You'll see it. I mean, it, it goes right through. Uh, you'll know when you hit underwater, uh -huh. when you got your radio on and the radio goes off. Right, yes. Then you're underwater. Okay. Yeah, because right down at the bottom is when... Yep. I just never ever understood because I'd always drive down to town, downtown and I didn't see any water. So I'm like, yeah, there's water there. That's weird. This is the Mobile Tunnel. Woohoo! Ah. And I don't understand what freaks people out about this. You Me know, this either. Wow, yeah. People can't drive. They just can't do it. I don't know. I don't understand it. At least this tunnel's lit. You go in some tunnels in Tennessee, it ain't lit. Yeah. So right about now is usually yeah. when you start losing yeah. your radio. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, and that's kind of scary. Sometimes you can see water coming from oh, the yeah. top. Especially on the old banky tunnel. Uh -huh. That thing leaks all the time. Well, I just passed some that looked kind of weird yeah. on the left side. And banky, it, it, that thing has leaked ever since I was a kid. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's scary. And there's the other side. Now you guys have been through Mobile Bay, uh, Bay Tunnel. <laughs> Y'all see what it looks like coming out. See, I've got people. I've got a girl that lives in the UK watches me. <laughs> yeah. I got one uh, that lives in Seattle. Hey, girl. You know who you are. Are you doing live? No. Oh. No, but I got some sweet, sweet subs. I just want to start calling. Hey, sweet subs. <laughs> They're like more starting to get like family though, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, friends, good yeah. friends. It's yeah. like, you know about their lives and what they're going through, some of them, you know, it's like crazy. It's neat. Hey, Google, direct us to Bay Palms RV Park Mobile. Okay, I'm going to get off now for a minute. North trail a heartland ultralight i figure if i'm videotaping them i might as well get some of them <laughs> yep. oh i like the mattress in here oh i like this oh this is really cute bobby oh yeah this gets a much better oh yeah this feels a lot better for me yep. yeah the messed up cat TV. damage <laughs> I can smell them cats, boy. Oh, yeah. Dogs and cats. Yeah? Yep. I've got my own TVs. I ain't worried about that, though. Yeah. Really nice TV. It would fit right there. You can tell them just take the, <laughs> take the sofa out and keep it. Uh, all of this crap. I smell cat pee. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I could get my long one in here and my short one there. Mm -hmm. And have my little coffee table. No issues at all. 
I could put a bar stool up here. I don't even. Well, I know I have a table here. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I could put my jewelry here. I could do jewelry if I wanted to here. No, oh, this is nice. What you could do is you could keep your jewelry stuff underneath your bed, and then when you need. See what you can find in here. <laughs> yeah. Here. I look. It's nice. This is just the manual. Oh, okay. It's got remote controls for something. Oh, it's so hot in here, too. So that Let me go in the bathroom. Bedroom. Bed how hot it would be without a cover on it. Oh, yeah. It's made of nice shower, though. It, it, yeah, and I've got it locked up where well, you can't even open it. That's good. Well, oh, no, you can. I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay. It's kind of it's different, that's for sure. This shower's in good shape, though. Okay. Bedroom. Okay. This is not bad, you guys. This mattress is amazing. This is a very nice mattress. Chime by Hybrid. Chime by Ashley. Ah, no wonder. Ashley Furniture. Come on, now. I got hung up. Shoot, I got jewelry right here I could do. Place for your clothes. Yeah, I know. Okay, they've got this all locked up good because I guess the traveling, but that's a closet and that's a good size closet. This is awesome. Yeah, this is called the Cardinal. That's got a little red Cardinal up there. And it's funny because for the past four months, all I've seen at my house are red Cardinals. And then yesterday, one flew down and then another one flew down. And anyway, this is a 31 footer we're looking at. And, uh, Smells like cigarettes bad, and I can get that out, and it's not bad, actually. Look. It actually feels really sturdy. It's got a nice sink, nice sink, and uh, it's a fifth wheel. I'd have big enough space for my couch and my uh i don't know about both of them but anyway whatever it's not bad it's got a central vac it's got a king size bed it's got a shower here and we're talking about replacing it because it needs glass at one point it must have had glass because you can tell on the sides it's been yeah it had glass at one point let me see the nails where they used to be. The glass enclosure. Yeah, toilet here. Sink. It's not bad. It's actually got a really nice closet. So, hey y'all. Uh, we just we we're in uh, Loxley now, or actually Summerdale, but we just went to Mobile and we walked into a place. They said they don't close till four, so we finally found them. And when we got there, the guy was standing outside on the phone. He goes, we're closed. And we said, he said, we closed. Uh, we've already locked everything up. And it was like 2.45. They don't close till 4. And we just sat there. And we were shocked. And he goes, we, we can't show no more. So I was like, fine. <laughs> so then we came here. So they've got this one. And then they've got another one that's really nice. But it's too expensive. So this is only fifteen nine nine nine. So 2008. Well, you guys, I just got home, and earlier, Piggy and them ran in there because they get all excited whenever I give them food in the morning. I give them their pills, their Benadryl, so they can breathe better, and her leg slipped out from under her. Anyway, now she's wobbling, okay? I can't pick her up. She can't use her back right leg. Got her up on the bed by her using her front arms, and I helped her help pick her legs up and put her on the stool. I don't know if she had a stroke or what. It's not hurting her. My sister said that means she had a stroke. So I don't know if, if she had slipped. I thought she slipped. But evidently, I don't know. I really don't know. I just got back. So, oh, Lord have mercy. Hi, guys. This is terrible. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you guys are going to stop watching my videos. You are definitely going to stop watching my videos. I hope you don't, but, I mean, it, I, my life is just screwed up right now. I'm at the vet. They're putting Piggy down. So, she slipped yesterday, and uh, they think that 
her spine. Uh, it either has cancer in it or it, uh, when she slipped, it, her spine is dying right now. That's what they said. Her little back legs or paws are curling under like this. So she didn't have long anyway and they're putting her out. And they said she is in pain. I just can't tell. But they said anytime she pants like that and her heartbeat is that fast, she's in pain. So she's been in pain. I didn't realize it. But I gave her Benadryl last night and I gave her a prednisone. So that helped. I did the right things. And uh, I waited to see if it helped her. But So Lucy outlived them all. Anyway, they're going to be bringing her out here in a minute. I got her in this car. I said, Lord Jesus, help me, help me. And I put a blanket I put a blanket between, under her legs and picked her up like a purse on the back. She walked her uh, front legs. She walked to the door, but she couldn't walk down the stairs, obviously. So I said, Lord Jesus, give me strength. And I lifted that dog. I hurt my back in between my shoulder blades. But at least I didn't hurt my hernia mesh or down low. You know, I'll know in a couple of days for sure. But I don't have anybody to help me with these dogs. I do, but my uh, brother-in-law, he, he, they have to go to church and stuff. The preacher had to go to church. I wasn't going to call them. It's always Sunday. Y'all realize that? It's always Sunday. Isabel? I think Lily was a Sunday. I don't remember. Jeremy was a Sunday. No. And Isabel was a Sunday. So, now Piggy. This guy just got in his car beside me. He probably thinks I'm nuts talking. <laughs> anyway, they're going to be coming out here in few minutes I think it's about 20 or 30 minutes because they after they do it they have to wait but anyhow our, my piggy's gone now and I've got one left Lucy and she's I can't believe I can't believe this I just hey guys let me see if you can see me it is so late there's my aquarium you can't see me but I'm going to bed it is like 1130 at night let's see 1135 and I just wanted to tell y'all that I'm good. I'm in bed. I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, my sister, uh, my little sister, my daddy, I called them after at, when I was at the vet, and they said they would meet me home. And when I got home, they came right over, and they buried Piggy for me. And uh, anyway, I'm okay, y'all. I knew, Jeremy and I both knew when we kept all those dogs, they were all the same age, that they were going to die at the same time. So I've got Lucy left, and I've got Shasta, but my Shasta is my six-year-old, so I'm hoping she'll live to be 35, <laughs> our age. Now, she'll probably live another 15 years. Hopefully, she'd be 21, but small dogs usually live to be about 18 or so, so I still got a, you know, a good 12 years with her, hopefully. I'm going to take care of her. Um, Lucy's on her way out. Um, I'm expecting her to go at any minute. So, the only good thing about all this is they were born on this land, and they're going to be buried on this land, and this is all they've ever known. They've had good lives, and Lucy's next, and then after that, it'll just be me and Shasta, and I'm not getting any more animals, and I'm going to take a vacation where you and I... You guys are going with me and Shasta on a vacation. We're going to go. We're going to go in the truck and just go. We're just going to go. We're going to drive for four hours. We're going to get a hotel somewhere for several days and just go. I'll have someone watch my fish. i got to get rid of my fish, too, because if I go the camper route, I won't be able to have fish, which is fine because they used to be a uh, hobby. They were a pleasure, but now they've turned into a burden. And I'm not taking care of them like I used to, so I'm going to have to give them to good homes. So I got to get rid of my fish, and I can do it again some other day and some other time in my life. But right now, I've got to get anything uh, that takes away from my focus out of my life because it's a burden, and I can't have any more burdens on me right now. I just can't. So anyway, I love y'all. Y'all keep the faith. This world is weird right now. It's really, really weird. I mean, my life is, you've seen what's happening in my life, but you know what? There's nothing, nothing that you cannot handle when you have Jesus and the Holy Spirit in your heart. So just keep the faith always and never, ever give up. Just keep praying, you know? You're being tested sometimes, and you just got to pass the test. Keep the faith. The faith will, will make you be able to go through anything, anything. So I love you guys, and thank you so much. 
Don't give up on me. My life will get better, I promise you. And uh, we're going to go from there. We're going to have a lot of good adventures. Who knows what this life's going to change for me. It's changing definitely for me, so I don't know where, where it's going. But uh, God is changing my life, so we're going to see what happens. And uh, I'm wanting to do His will for the rest of my life. So I'm going to go where He leads me. So whatever happens, happens. And everything will be the way it's planned. So I love y'all. Thank y'all. God bless you. And I will see you tomorrow. My daddy's house. Bye.